Boys, we got QSP in the studio today. Got this knife. The Hawk. The Hawk. And it comes in this carbon fiber scales, or it'll come in a wooden scale if you want it. And this is what they call Chinese damask steel. So I'm assuming it's a stainless Damascus. That's what I'm assuming. Look at the... Uh, you know, ambidextrous thumb studs, and they're kind of nicely machined, cut away, you know, uh, up near the top. Nice, easy to finger flick, and of course it's a flipper, by the way. So there's a flipper tab, kind of long front to back, but not very tall, and jimped all the way around here. Push button works really good with this knife, and of course then this serves here as like a jimped, thumb ramp here the finger can go forward you know for close-up cutting it's sharp out of the box yeah it's not a real real big knife uh but just about a perfect edc size uh let me see what i've got around here to your knife Bruiser is definitely bigger. And this is a real full-size knife here. But let's look at maybe the best tech. Wybra. And that's a bigger knife as well. So let's put a... Uh, let's put a tape on this. See what we got. Three and a quarter. There you go. Mm, 82 millimeters seven and three eighths overall shall we say at about 18 and a half centimeters what do we got for uh blade stock 0.11 so it'll be about three millimeter and 13.5 at 0.53 so basically a half inch here basically three millimeter blade stock and I'm assuming stainless Damascus. I'll update that down here when QSP gets back to me because I posed that question to him and uh, I still haven't received an answer. Here's the liner lock. Of course, it's a steel liner in here and it's jimped. The pass through is easy to uh, get to. It's about a 25% lock up. Nice, easy drop on it. The design flows nicely. You've got a lanyard hole in the back. Deep carry right hand only pocket clip. No left hand uh, setup for this. Uh, blade to handle ratio looks pretty good here. I mean, you're right there. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Let's pull the scale down see what we got here as far as weight. 3.8 ounces, 108 grams. So it's under four ounces, you know, three and a quarter inch blade, under eight inches. Uh, so really carryable, fairly lightweight. Um, you know, and of course they save some weight by not putting a backspacer on here. This knife is, you know, more of an attractive knife. I don't see this as just a, carry beater type knife although you could do that so when you get into the knives that are you know really more attractive like this showy um i kind of want a backspacer on them but this does not have that which does save weight and probably some money this thing's around 92 bucks all in uh here you go. You can get it in a wooden scale as well. And that's 78 bucks. So there you go. If you use the LTK discount code, you get 10% off. So you're in the 60s here. You're in the 80s here. So just however you want to roll with that. And it's, it is an attractive knife. It's super carryable. And the action's really nice on this. Um, 
in hand. All four fingers fit on there. Pretty neutral here. So uh, comfort from an ergonomic standpoint is good. Reverse grip feels fine. Contoured carbon fiber. I, I like it. Yeah, well done there. Detent is appropriate, especially when you're going to do thumb flick, finger flick options here. Uh, you don't want a real stiff detent yet. Pull, pull, pull. Um, okay. We didn't fail it there. Yeah, okay. I can fail it. Uh, but, you know, it's appropriate. Yeah, four and a half to a five, somewhere in there in the detent scale. Not real heavy. Okay, I can snap it out, but it takes some doing. Yeah, like it. Really smooth. Ceramic bearings is what it says, so we'll take it apart, take a look at it on the inside. But yeah, uh, it's one of those things, if you like the design, I, I think it's good. And if you don't, well, then it never is really, is it? I think it's a fairly neutral design. It's not going to be one where you either love it or hate it, but you may not be passionate about it. Although, um, I'll confirm whether this is a stainless Damascus, but if it is, then I, I kind of like that concept. So let's throw this old dog down here and uh, here we go. Number eight. Ah, this is a Torx Plus. I kind of figured that might be. There you go. That fits better. That Torx Plus was... Ooh, that's made for a little bit tighter fit. Uh, but yes, this works better. No, number sixes, I'm sure. And pocket clip. All right, we've got the pocket clip off. Obviously, one screw's longer than the other because it goes through that standoff. So we'll leave them there, this here, and this ought to come apart, which it does very quickly. Here's our uh, blade stop that came out of here, this hole, or this hole. Uh, ceramic detent ball. Of course, these liners are, uh, there we go. The liners are right here, stacked on here. They were kind of stuck together. I don't know why. There wasn't really, I didn't see any adhesive per se, although maybe that's what this was. Just a little light touch of it to keep these on uh, for assembly purposes. But there we go. So there's your carbon fiber. Yes, it's all the way through. So that's carbon fiber, not a laminate or any of that garbage. And there's your ceramic uh, ball. So got a ceramic pivot here. And some kind of uh, clear lubrication in here. And we have a D-shaped pivot, thank God, all one piece. So that centers their logo here and gives direction and hold here. So you only have one entree, but that's all you need. All right, we're ready to reassemble this. And looks like the D-shape on this liner is pointed up. So we want to get the D-shape on the pivot the same way. Goes right through like that. We need uh, ceramic bearings. And we need a blade. And we need 
another set of ceramic bearings. This is not going to be a very difficult uh, reassembly. There's not much to it. Then we need a liner. Well, first we need a blade stop. Like that. Then we can put on a liner. We get the blade stop and the standoffs all lined up right here. Then we have to put the scale on top and might as well put the pivot screw on the back side of here. So let's do that. Okay. And uh, Everything else are number sixes. There we go with that. Drop our pocket clip back in these holes. And the screws should go right back in. This one has to go through the standoff. This one does not. It just goes into the scale. So we're good there. And it looks like we're centered. And it looks like this has uh, come back rather well. The QSP Hawk. Yeah, I, I like the carbon fiber as opposed to the wood. Uh, I'll go for carbon fiber all the time over wood. It's so synthetic. I think it'll hold up better. It definitely looks beautiful. And I like the way they did the pattern on this carbon fiber. It goes along with the blade. The blade looks nice. It's sharp. It slices well. It's reasonably inexpensive in the $80 range. The wooden one, probably in the 60s after discount. So, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Be nice, easy carry. It's under four ounces, under seven and a half inches, so it's all good. All right, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you again for joining me. QSP Hawk, new for 2020. And we do, we love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.